Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What role does propaganda play in fascist regimes? Propaganda is a crucial tool in fascist regimes, serving multiple purposes to maintain power and shape public opinion. In fascist Italy, for instance, Benito Mussolini heavily relied on propaganda to legitimize his rule and unify a divided country. Creation and Dissemination of Propaganda Mussolini used various forms of media, including paintings, sculptures, films, and songs to spread fascist ideas. Posters, slogans, and photographs were widely distributed across Italian cities to ensure his message was constantly seen and heard by the public. Use of symbols. Italian fascist propaganda often employed the fasces, an ancient imperial Roman symbol, to represent power and prosperity. This symbol was central to Mussolini's movement, linking his leadership to ancient Roman traditions. Control of information. Propaganda in fascist regimes involves stringent control over information. In Italy, the Istituto Luce, a state-controlled film corporation, produced newsreels, documentaries, and photographs that were censored to avoid depicting scenes of death and destruction, except when attributed to enemies of Italy. Fear and heroism. Fear was a key tactic used by Mussolini to control the public. Propaganda campaigns instilled fear by portraying enemies as destructive and portraying Mussolini as a hero saving Italy from chaos. Demonization of enemies. Propaganda in fascist regimes often involves demonizing enemies. In Italy, communism was frequently portrayed as evil, with posters comparing fascism favorably to communism. Enemies of the state, such as British and American troops, were depicted as destroyers of Italian culture. Censorship. Censorship played a vital role in maintaining the fascist narrative. Strict censorship rules ensured that only approved images and messages were released to the public. For example, photographs of Italian soldiers in disarray were not allowed, and only images showcasing heroism and valor were permitted. Impact on public opinion. The widespread use of propaganda helped shape public opinion in favor of the fascist regime. By controlling media and information, Mussolini and other fascist leaders managed to create a cult of personality, where the leader was presented as infallible and indispensable to the state. Continuation during war. During World War II, Italian propaganda continued to highlight the supposed successes of the fascist state. This included depicting victories of the Italian army and the destruction caused by Allied forces, further reinforcing the fascist narrative. Comparative insights. Similar strategies were used by other totalitarian regimes, such as Nazi Germany. Propaganda was a key element in these regimes, penetrating all forms of media to control public opinion and support for the government's ideology. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.